You know, that's 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 honestly why I'm really excited for E3 this year. Yeah, their new one is going to be. I am so excited for that. I I really hope that it grabs people's attention, and I, it, it it grabbed yours. It grabbed yours. I mean, I think the main thing that has me interested in the game is the fact that Adam Sandler is not going to be in it. Listen, we need to group together. We need to get together right now, and get we need to works. stop Adam Sandler for making here. fucking That's movies. I can't. I can't do this anymore, guys. I have so held boxes. this in since the first episode of this so goddamn boxes, podcast. Yeah. We need to make Adam Sandler to stop making movies. Listen, listen, listen. Did you like Grown Ups? You're wrong. <laughs> Unless you said that you did it. Did you see the second one? Did you see the bullshit that they put out on that fucking te- on that sc- on that huge screen? That Adam Sandler, like ha- like shitting out a middle finger and filming it. That's what that fucking movie was. I'm gonna cut all of this. Battleborn <laughs> slashes no. all their prize. <laughs> So much work down the train, Roger. Battleborn slashes all their price tiers by twenty dollars. Their standard edition is now going for forty bucks. Deluxe edition wink, wink. going for fifty-five dollars. I wonder where that forty dollar number came from. <laughs> so uh it was recently posted on the Interact Gaming Media uh group um that literally there are twice as many people playing Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, right now, than there are people playing Battleborn. God That's damn. bad. And I think it's honestly a message to Gearbox. You know what? Battleborn it looks like a great game. It looks <laughs> like a fucking awesome game. Like... Inherently, there is nothing wrong with Battleborn. I've heard it plays excellently. The graphics are great. The characters are varied. They all have personality. Battleborn looks awesome. There's no balance. But the entirety of the gaming community has just decided mm, there can't be two. We go with Overwatch. <laughs> and Battleborn just got dumped on, man. They got dunked on so fucking hard by Blizzard. Dude. Blizzard's nuts. We're just scraping from the fucking bottom of the chin all the way up past the forehead and past the crown. Just nutsack scrape all of Battleborn. It is the saddest thing to encounter. If you have an opportunity to get Battleborn for the low, low price of $5 in two months, you should definitely get it. Because Battleborn's a good game. I think they just did everything wrong. Battleborn is a horrible name for a game. I don't understand how a game called Battleborn will get any kind of traction in the mainstream. I mean, let's see. We got Call of Duty. Ooh, that's okay. All right. That's that, all right. Then we got Resident Evil. Whoa, okay. That's a big boy one. All right. All right. Or Biohazard Grand from Theft from Auto. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I like that. I like that. Battleborn. What was, what's that about? Bat, bat, battle, Battleborn. Maybe it's like a night game. Is like knights or is like rocket knights? Is what the fuck is a battleborn? That's their first problem. When you present a new IP and there's nothing even remotely creative about the fucking title, what is battleborn? Like that's, I know it seems like I'm really hankering on this fucking name, but I'm serious. I think this is like square one where they fucked up. Ninety nine percent of people who who like just randomly go into stores to buy games, they're not preoccupied about the developer. But you better believe they're going to look at the box art and go, eh. Meanwhile, Overwatch has had this fucking colossal marketing campaign that has just fucking taken over the goddamn internet with fucking YouTube ads, TV ads, fucking goddamn on my on my porno websites, uh, uh, <laughs> advertisements on the pornos, everywhere. This goddamn game has been everywhere. I mean, do you remember the over... I was on Hulu, dude. I was on Hulu with my mom. And I'm sitting there, and the first commercial, Overwatch, open beta, coming May. I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) Hulu? Like, that's awesome. And instantly, I was like, dude, this is going to be a big deal. And guess what? Even fucking PS4 versions of the game are selling fucking like hotcakes. Overwatch is a fucking hit already. And it's it's critically getting these amazing-ass scores. Meanwhile, Battleborn... Equally so, getting some great review scores. It's an excellent fucking game. 
they I just say that they're great. It, it is, they're dude. Fair. Battleborn is fucking awesome. No, well, see, that's the thing because people are making that comparison. They're going, yeah, well, you know, no, no, no. Battleborn's no, no, okay, I, but Overwatch exists. So I've been looking at all of the uh, review scores individually, and not from individuals, but from you know websites like. Uh, like a giant bomb and like Game Informer. What? Well, like like the, yeah. the IGNs sure. and the, and the yeah, Game Informers yeah, and the Game Spats. I looked it all up and trust me, they all say that Battleborn shit. Just make Borderlands I didn't 3. Say that. Just make I didn't fucking say Borderlands that. 3. That's what I we want. The, I said the reviews are fair, not that they're great, because great would entail like an 8 or 10, and it's getting like 7s and 8s or 6s from certain websites. Oh, it's getting sixes. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. That's stupid. Roger, Who's giving it a numbers six? Matter. <laughs> you know what? I give it a four. There we go. Now another podcast somewhere oh. in fucking Indonesia is going to be like, hold on, hold on, fucking Battleborn gets a fucking four. Stop jerking off. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay. So why did Battleborn slash it's, they did the thing because obviously because the standard edition, the regular version of fucking Overwatch is 40 bucks. Easy. Okay. On PC only. Battleborn, meanwhile, 60 bucks. Retail. Day one. Who would go for that? Overwatch has infinitely more hype. Overwatch has a huge fucking player base now. And in all respects, I find Overwatch to have just more compelling gameplay and more compelling characters. So them slashing their prices makes a hell of a lot of sense. And I noticed they even uh, like they undercut uh, uh, Blizzard when they're, they they uh, relisted their deluxe edition as $55, whereas the deluxe yeah. edition of Overwatch is $60. So, you know, I hope that they get more sales. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, is is uh, Battleborn on Steam? Uh, shit, I don't know. I feel like it is, because I saw a an ad that, like, whenever I hudder, hovered on it, it said Steam ID something, something, something. It's, that's not good already. I'm having to kind of scroll down a bit. Jeez. Okay, it it's probably... There's no way that... What? It's on here. Well, where else would they put it, right? It doesn't, they're not, it's, it's, uh... Gearbox, unless they would put it on Origin, that doesn't make sense. I've no, gone, I've gone quite a number of pages so far, and I, I I can't see it. Maybe that's how generic the name is. Let me see. <laughs> Battle. I'm not gonna be able to load. Oh it up. God, it's okay. That's not good. Okay. So, I can't find it, and I'm on page four. That's not good, man. That's uh, that's 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 kind of sucky. Um, but honestly, they they dug their own grave for the ver- for a long for the longest time. Battleborn, I mean, really nobody knew what the game was. I mean, no nobody really knew what to expect from the game. I mean, there was gameplay, but they just didn't promote it the way they should have. They didn't, you know, get it in as many hands as they should have. Like, if they wanted, if they want, I mean, who played it? I mean, everyone played yeah. Overwatch beta first, and they were like, yeah, never. I'll, pl- I'll fucking take this. That's the shitty part, though, because you, I guess you don't even know. Battleborn had two betas or three betas, and they were the first one was way before Overwatch's betas, any of the betas for Overwatch. I was in that beta, and that's whenever I had my shitty ass fi, uh, GTX 550 Ti. So the game looked like shit and it ran like shit, and uh, you know, I I had a fair. I'd say I had an okay time with it, but. Um, yeah, then Overwatch came, and I was like, ooh, Overwatch. Exactly. So, so well, yeah. I think, I, honestly, I think it would have been a hell of a lot smarter for them to move the game's date forward, so that way it would at least coincide, if not release before Overwatch. And if not even that, at least get the uh, game into more people's hands. Go up to YouTubers and be like, hey, buddy, you want some money to talk honestly about our Vidja uh, game? Battleborn came out three and a half weeks ago. Yeah, and it's already on page four. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's check out the games that are doing better. We got Doom, we got Warhammer, uh, Total War Warhammer. Yes, baby. Uh, we can't count The Witcher 3 because it's on sale, <laughs> but GTA 5 outdid it. 
Uh, Fallout 4, uh, Far Harbor, I did it. That's relatively Ooh. new. I want to uh, know if Final Fantasy X and X 2 did better. The pre-orders for No Man's Sky have done better. <laughs> Yikes. Siege is selling better. Oh, is the Division doing better? <laughs> the Division is selling... Rust is selling better. <laughs> Gary's Mod is selling better. The Forest is selling better. Final Fantasy X and X-2 is uh, selling better. Yes. <laughs> Football Manager 2016 is selling better. Oh. Homefront the Revolution is selling better. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Undertale is still selling better. Oh, Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's sad as hell. Um anyway, yeah, so it makes sense competitively for them to do this. I think they just fucked up in the way they presented their game. Um It's one of those you unfortunate know, things where where the games were compared so heavily and they were so just kind of mixed matched because you know, Overwatch is two words kind of slammed together the same way Battleborn is two words slammed together. And they're both these kind of hero shooters where you pick, you know, you pick and choose your favorite character and you shoot it out with, you know, different classes and different, you know, team lineups. I understand why people got confused. There is definitely, some, you know, notable differences between Battleborn and Overwatch. But the differences were never highlighted. I mean, as far as I'm aware, I really don't know the very core elemental differences between Overwatch and Battleborn. I know that they're there. Go ahead. Um, Bitch. Uh, all right. Overwatch is more of a competitive online multiplayer shooter. Competitive is the key word because with um, Battleborn, it's more of a single player co op campaign type thing. But they also have competitive modes, um, which are more akin to uh, uh, mo uh, what is it called? MOBA arenas? Or, yeah, MOBAs. MOBAs. So, yeah. So there's cl Battleborn is closer to MOBAs than it is to a regular hero shooter, but um, the reasons why it's closer is because uh, they have levels. Whenever you're playing the matches, you have levels for your characters. Whenever you level up, you have a little helix of, um, of characteristics and skills or passives that you can unlock. And um, you also have to worry about creeps and uh, bigger creeps and trying to protect your base and stuff like that. And there's about three different modes, but the main problem with Battleborn is that the repetition is so fucking, it's so high. And other than that, just the uh, the balance that they have in Battleborn is not as good as it is in Overwatch. So there's this one character, I think she's like a female character. She kind of hovers, but I think everybody's, or she has like, like uh, what do you call those? Like those, uh, those weapons? A rapier. She has rapier, several of them. And she is so OP'd if you go with, like, a crit hit chance build. And it's ridiculous because she has the highest melee damage. She has the highest speed damage. And she also has the most mobility. So she's broken. They're going to nerf her pretty soon. And other than that, the price point, $60 for that, it's not there. there's not a lot to do in that game. Uh, they have a lot of unlockables, the same as Overwatch does. But in Battleborn, it gets really repetitive because there's not a lot of stuff to do. And it's more focused towards groups of friends rather than just like, you know... Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's more focused towards groups of friends to play the single player and then to move on to multiplayer than just groups of friends playing multiplayer in Overwatch. Whew. So Battleborn fucked up. Han Solo dies. And sure, sure there he you does. Go. Uh, All right. Sure he does. I'm trying to get it down. I'm trying to get at least one dislike on this video for what someone. You did not like mention at all, and I don't think anybody's really realized it. What about all the people who bought Battleborn already? I don't think they're gonna be reimbursed with shit. I don't think mm. they're gonna get a new character. I mean, they they, they probably will. They're probably character. gonna get they're probably gonna get skins to save face. Or yeah, something right. Like that. Fuck. I'm They're look getting up. a new character this week, and that character is like I forgot what she looks like and so, but she's free for everybody. But uh, coincidence? I think not, because uh, they're just trying to play a uh, what? What do you call it? Pick twenty one or whatever? Pick up sticks, stuff like that. They're just trying to. They're just trying to save their asses right now. Battleborn, that is. I'm trying to find out. I'm on their Reddit right now, and I want to see if anybody's been like. 
Yo, so, where are my twenty dollars at? So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Nah, they're they're probably gonna do something where it's like, you guys were the founders, so here's uh, some extra shit, uh, you know, something like that. <laughs> if not, just... if not, that's very fucking gearbox to them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but um. Fastest Battle... price drop in history, man. Battleborn is worth playing, and honestly, hopefully, they can recoup and they can figure out, you know, where they can fix a lot of the the missteps that they took along the way. Um, to be yeah, to be honest, I would play Battleborn. I would get it, but only if the price were to go even lower because I already spent money on a competitive online uh, hero shooter, and the depth in Battleborn just looks so much. It has so much more depth because you can build your character. It's not just your character there, and you're playing as a hero. You can actually build spec out your hero however you want in Battleborn. 